Whoa, look what we found! Wow! Most of us spend a lot of time shopping in the retail world, spending top dollar for items we want or need. Don't get me wrong, retail is sometimes a necessity for specific items. But what about toy trains? What if you didn't need to fork out top dollar to purchase something you collect or enjoy? What if there was another way? A way to find rare Thomas trains you've always wanted but couldn't afford. This is the story of an adventure. This is my story. Good old Southern California, home to some of the most beautiful weather year-round. This is the place I call home. What you see before you is something I call a swap meet. Others like to call it a flea market. Regardless of what you call it, its purpose remains the same. Every Saturday and Sunday, these street vendors show up to attempt to liquidate their inventory. Most of their inventory is purchased during the week at local auctions or estate sales. This is a place I choose to look for my wooden trains. This is a place that can turn someone's junk into someone's treasure. This is a place that can be overwhelming as well as rewarding. This is my adventure and I invite you to watch and learn as I search for the treasures that may lie right beneath my eyes. Well, looks like another great day for a swap meet. Generally speaking, Southern California gets great weather for most of the year, making swap meets and flea That's markets cool. very popular in this part of the country. Yes, we get the occasional rain during the winter months, but overall, amazing, it's a picture-perfect place for this type of market. Now, finding what you're looking for can sometimes be difficult, as you can see a lot of these vendors just throw their inventory all over the ground. Almost looks like a war took place here. I'm here for one reason, and that's to find some trains for a decent price to add to my collection. And here is the first find of the day. Yeah, I know, but where's the rest of that one? There it is. Just bought that, huh? Yeah, just the Polar Express on. Yeah, it's the tender. You got the Polar Express for that's the line. How much did you pay for that one? one. We, we paid. Nine dollars. Nine dollars for everything in here. With the two tenders here. Oh. Oh, you got the coldy in the back. I see something. What do we have? Yeah, part we of coldy or not uh, sure what this is. Yeah, that's part of the coldy pack. The uh, release, new release coldy. We got yes. uh, these little Christmas guys. It's like Rio. Nice. We got is I filming that whole time? Yeah, this is. Nice and it works good. Hot chocolate. I can hear it. Yeah, this is probably a hundred dollars worth of trains here. These Polar Expresses can be kind of rare. You got the Polar Express Tunnel. Two of the Polar Expresses. You got the uh, battery operated version and you got the wooden set that was available. That's nice. Look at all this stuff over here. Look at all these taking plays. Did anybody find out what the price on some of these taking plays are? Yeah. This is not taking plays. This is Tony. Engines are three dollars. Engines are three dollars. It's a little bit out of our range. We like to get them for about one to two at the most, depending on what you're looking for. But there is a pretty good selection in here. I gotta say that. All these. Nice. If you're a take and play guy, I mean, this is a decent find. But we want to try to stay to the one to two dollar range at the most if you're paying for these take and plays. But they're definitely cheaper than buying them retail. That's interesting, gumball machine. Well, it's not even gumballs. It's like 25 cents, get your prize. Oh man, a little overwhelming here. There's so much to go through. Wow, look at all this. When a vendor specializes in one item, such as video games, you're probably not going to get the price you're looking for. Retro games Good there, thing too. about wooden trains is generally they are not the only focus of a vendor, so your chances of getting a good price are He's much higher. Model trains. Not my cup of tea, but the swap meets I go to are cool. full of them. Those are in <laughs> Find number two. 
We paid twenty dollars for this lot. Although most of the items are not from the Thomas Wooden Railway, there are some nice Brio items in this lot. Well worth the money. Interesting. Mm, help you, I will. Star Wars. I've heard there's a lot of value in some of these Star Wars toys. I just don't know what I'm looking for. This vendor was loaded with stuff. Well, I'm not sure. Is it complete in box? Find out how much it is, okay? Here's a nice find that we paid $10 for. More Brio, but worth the buy, as we can easily double our money in the reselling market. This is probably the biggest wooden Thomas I've ever seen. So you can get a copy, get a picture of the sort of street, sweet sweeper. Of the, uh, I don't know if that was bundled with the trash or not, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, anyone for Pokemon cards? Wow. More games, not what I'm looking for. Looks like an old like a G scale. Train down there. It's like G scale, old, cheaper kind. Look at that. Radio back to the future control car. That's pretty cool. Retail, retail, retail. Now, this vendor was high on some items and low on others. We tried haggling with him on the prices, but he wouldn't budge. We ended up purchasing this talking wooden Toby for 50 cents, which is a nice buy. When you come across a case like this, always check the box. Sometimes you'll find some treasures. Not today. It's interesting. It's almost like a take and play, but it's actually made. It's actually made by Learning Curve. Interesting. I like a carry case. It's got a turntable too. Oh, Bailey did. Just found some Brio. I know, I'm gonna go over here and look. What'd you find? Found some Brio. Cool. Wow, that's a pretty good box. Got a big bus. Look how big he's this one. Huh. That's Duplo? Yeah, Pretty good size. The whole pattern's lined up. Yeah, I don't think it actually goes with that though. But it is. Wow, what's this? Find number three. We ended up paying $30 for the entire box, loaded with Thomas and other wooden trains. They even let us keep the plastic container. Huh? Good old storage wars. Anyone watch the TV show? Well, if you remember Dave Hester, here he is. He's typically seen unloading his storage containers at these local swap meets. Find number four. You know, this lot we just found. The seller wanted forty dollars for everything. We don't even know what's in there, but I can tell you, just while I'm floating on the service, there's about forty dollars a track. We'll let you guys know as soon as we find out what's in there. More model trains. If I was a collector, I'd probably be in paradise here. Remember that $40 pickup we found? After taking everything out of the box, this is what we found. Now this lot we spent more than we wanted to at around $100, but
But overall, there's much more value here than $100. In fact, there's probably around $300 or more worth of trains, as a big percentage happen to be 1992 trains. And take a look at this, another $100 purchase. This lot was loaded with Thomas Treasures, one of the best finds to date. You can't beat $100 on a lot like this. I thought I'd add this to the list. We found this months ago at a swap meet, but we only paid 25 cents for this 1992 Herald. Yes, he has a broken propeller, but wow. Finally, we paid $60 for this mint condition old style clickety clack lift and load set. After taking it home and inspecting it, we were shocked that it was complete with every piece intact. What kind of treasures might be awaiting me in episode 2? Will I be stumped or rewarded? Stay tuned for episode 2. Thanks for watching.